Thank you guys so much for talking to me about the respite program. You're welcome, sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, um, if you don't mind, tell me, both of you, kind of what what was life like before you came to respite? Where were you staying? Well, me myself, I was out, in, you know, I was living in uh, abandoned cars, you know. I lived in the street a lot, you know. How long were you out there? Out there at least a good year, so. Yeah. Yes, um, I was on the streets for about a week or so in various friends' houses, um, family. They, they sent me to Grand Avenue, and I was there for a number of months. And uh, due to having to go to the hospital, I came over here to the Columbus house here on the rest of the floor. And, yeah. What um, caused you to go into the hospital? Well, I had a um, hernia that had to be um, lasered off me. And um, I was at the shelter at the time during the 90 days, and um, I knew it was coming up. So I explained to my doctor that uh, I got this operation. He knew it was coming up, too. And um, when I went to Yale, I, you know, I hadn't told him that I was living in a shelter or anything like that. And I explained to a met a lady named Maggie. She was a Yale coordinator or something like that. And um, I explained to her that uh, I was staying in a shelter. So she said, well, look, because it was time for me to go in for the operation, but she rescheduled it so she could get everything in order to set up for the rest of the for me. Yeah. And um, she rescheduled my um, appointment for my operation and uh, prolonged it for like maybe two weeks. And then I got to meet this guy named Mike and um, got to talking to him and setting up for the rest of the And um, I ended up, everything went just fine. Yeah, you know? okay. And what about you? How did you end up in the hospital and what happened? Uh, well, I um, had to have a little bit of surgery, um, and at the time I was seen at the Grand Avenue Shelter, and uh, we had a visiting nurse, and you know, I explained to her what was wrong, showed her what was wrong, she said they had to go to the hospital right away. So I was in the hospital for about a week, and um, they one of the staff mentioned the uh, respite, medical respite here at uh, Columbus House. So Tom Williams, who's, I guess, the director here, um, came by, you know, talked to me, you know, explained what it was about. So I was here for a couple of months and uh, on the rest before. And, uh, but, you know, as I said, I was in the hospital for after an operation, and the staff mentioned, you know, medical respite and signed me up, you know, take me there. Um, if, if respite wasn't here, guys, and you were discharged from the hospital, where might you have gone? I know I'd be, I'd be back in the street. Yeah, the yeah street. I'd be back on the streets. Yeah. Yeah. I'd probably be on, on the streets too, or, you know, I don't know of any other places to be. As, you know. that, when you're in respite, you don't have to worry about that because right. you can stay in all day. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So can both of you, each one of you, tell me a little bit about your primary care? Where do you, do you have a primary care physician and who, who do you see where do you go? Yeah, I have uh, <clears throat> Phil Costello is my primary doctor. He's been dealing with me for over a year. And uh, he's good. He's real good. He, he makes sure you get your health right. He definitely is on the ball. Do you see him here? In the I clinic? see him here. I see, him at, I see him at the clinic. Phil, and you go to Fairhaven, is that right? Yes, I, I go to the Fairhaven Clinic in Grand Avenue. I've been there for just over a year. You know, Somebody recommended them from uh, Grand Avenue. Um. So, you know, I've had a diff couple of different primary care physicians there, but, you know, they treat me well, you know, so, and I go there at least once a month, you know, just for general checkups. And, uh, so, when you're here, though, with your medical services, do you have a visiting nurse? Yeah, yeah, I have a visiting nurse that comes in with me on mental health issues and stuff. And how often do you see your visiting nurse? I see her once a week. And I see mine twice a week. You do a little physical therapy. Yes, yeah, so mine is more a physical therapist through the VNA, but um, I've had you know in the past you know the regular nurses you know from VNA, but uh, right now physical therapist you know to help me you know, with uh getting my knees back into back into shape and all that. So, but mine's twice a week. What's the most important thing about respite that you'd like to share with folks? Well, respite is, 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 you know, it, uh, 
helped me a lot, to, you know, get healthy, get me well. And, um, <clears throat> you know, it, I see other things they're doing, you know, trying to help me get housing. Yeah, I don't see nothing bad about it. It's, it's a great program, you know, and um, I appreciate it, you know. Like it's, it's, a, it's a real good program. It, it's helpful. It's helpful. Yeah, I'm also thankful too. Um, with the rest before they allow us to, you know, give you a certain ample time to recuperate from whatever ails us before you know we go back into you know, back into the world, you know, whatever. But they allow us to recuperate to the fullest. And, uh, I'm I'm thankful for that. Yeah, I'm okay too. You know, I got to give thumbs up to the staff here. They've been very helpful and kind. You know, well, you know, during my recuperation and all that. And I'm I'm sure you know Mezakun will be the same. You know, very helpful towards our recuperations and helping us to get back on our feet and on the street. Well, our own, on our own home, homes, I should say. So two thumbs up.